Hi, I'm Melissa, and this is The Book Break. And today I'm talking to a historical romance author, Daryl Harris, who has a brand new book that just came out, The Lady and the Night. So we're going to bring him on in. Hi, Daryl. Hi, how are you today? I'm great. I'm so excited to talk to you about this book because it is a really fun and unique romance because not only is it historical romance, but it's also a bit of an adventure. So before we get started, let's jump in and watch the book trailer and then I'll start asking you questions. All right. All right, Daryl, I'm going to let you tell us more about The Lady in the Night. Well, uh, first about the romance. Any romance is a little more intriguing when there's one lady and two men involved. Absolutely. And uh, in her eyes, the lady's eyes, both men could be termed as scoundrels, but one of them turns out to be a really nice guy and the other remains as a scoundrel. And then, as you say, there's a lot of adventure in it because of the setting this this takes place back in the 1500s and uh, the the lady eleanor she's been being courted by uh, someone who works for king henry the eighth and someone who opposes um, the, the the church in rome and king henry the eighth of course is a big proponent of the, of the roman church and so it develops quickly into a lot of conflict and, and with her trying to decide which way to go. And then a lot of traveling and learning on her part and evolving from one thought to another. So, so it was a lot, a lot of fun to write. Yeah. And I, I really liked the, the time period because that's the 1500s and specifically during this time frame was really a big shift in history. It's where they started to translate uh, the Bible into English, but the the king was not okay with this. And the, the original Catholic Church was not okay with this. They wanted to keep the Bible in Latin. But as we learn, one of these knights, um, Garrett Bloxham, I believe is his name, he really believes that people should have the opportunity, whereas Lady uh, Marbury, she was of the belief that we're going to follow the king. And I, I think it's really interesting that her love interests are on the very opposite ends of the spectrum. One is absolutely following the king and the other is secretly not. So I found that really interesting. And there was a lot of adventure in this. Yeah, and uh, Garrett Bloxham, the knight, uh, part of his uh, livelihood now, he's a merchant, so he is importing those illegal English Bibles, Bibles that have been translated from uh, the old Latin into English and then imported into England, and then they're selling like hotcakes because people want their own scriptures, but yet the king and the Pope, they don't want that to happen. And so that creates a, a big part of the conflict. Yeah, definitely. Well, and, and I've been lucky enough to talk to you before, Daryl. And, and something that I find really interesting about you is you've, you've been a historian for, I don't know, forever. I mean, you love history, you love digging into it, and that really shows in this. But romance wasn't initially your thing. Tell us why at least our, our viewers, why you got into historical romance? Well, uh, my wife is a, a lady who will read a book every week. And uh, she likes uh, romance and historical romance. I like adventure, intrigue, uh, conflict. And uh, so I, I, I learned that I had to have a strong romance in these books because the, the 
you know, women are, are the probably the number one readers of books and they like romance. So I had to learn and uh, to put some good romance in and, and get some advice on how to do it. And uh, so this, I think this book uh, shows that uh, there's a strong presence of romance because of, you know, two men vying for the hand of one lady and, and both of them have issues that, that she is uncomfortable with. And, but uh, you have to read the book to find out the ending. That's right. And I, I really enjoyed that. And I, I mean, it's, it's February. So a lot of us are thinking of the month of love. So it's even more interesting that part of your love for your wife helped to intrigue your issue into romance in your adventure. So I think that's really fun. So you have been writing for a long time. Where did you get the idea to go back to this this time period, the 1500s, um, with your historical adventure romance? Well, of course, you, you mentioned this. This is uh, when the Great Reformation began, which affected the whole world. Yeah. And, uh, and it was the, the reform of the Catholic Church the church in Rome, and then later, you know, it went through its own reformation, but it created a big conflict in Europe. And, uh, and this is this is the time period of Martin Luther, the time period of uh, William Tyndale, who translated the Bible from Latin into English. And these are, uh, you know, characters that are in the book. And the other person, uh, that's vying for Eleanor's hand is uh, Mr. Pygott. And uh, he works for the king and his job is to keep those English Bibles out of England and, and uh, keep uh, the wishes of King Henry VIII. And so, uh, like I said before, it's just a lot of intrigue and a lot of things happening that, that, that makes the book interesting to the readers. Yeah, definitely. And you're right, this really is a monumental time in history. And I think it's interesting because it affects really everyone, whether they, you know, practice Christianity or not. This was the beginning of a change and shift in the world. And so I, I love that. And and Lady Marbury, she has a lot of interest too, because she's a a widower and or a widow and she has a daughter that she wants to take care of and I find that as a mother myself of course I would think of my children and I would want to do anything to help them too so I think you really hit the nail on the head with this so I love the lady in the night and where can we find the lady in the night well you can go to Kindle or Amazon and uh, that's that's where books are selling nowadays and, and you can just look up the title or the author and uh, find uh, um, the book and, and you can find a description of it, a little bit about what, what it entails. And uh, uh, late yeah. people like my wife, you know, buy these up like crazy. So, <laughs> yeah, and it is in Kindle Unlimited. So if you're one of those. Uh, big readers like that, you can jump in and read it all right now if you want. So oh. I, I'm so glad to see to see you and to get to talk to you again. And if, another thing I just want to point out to our viewers, they can go to your website and learn more about you. And you're also on Facebook and you're a musician. So if they want to get a little peek into your music life, they can also find you on Facebook. And what is your website again? I believe we we have a banner for that. Yeah, it's uh, author Daryl Harris. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, Daryl Harris author .com. Daryl Harris author .com. Awesome. So, yes, and that is also your Facebook handle, so you can go and check that out. Well, thank you so much for being here with us today, Daryl. Well, thank you. Appreciate your time. You bet. And thank you all for joining us on the book break. We'll see you next time.